Alright you beautiful peoples of the interweebs, it's me, Glyn, and this is Cheapskate Gaming on today's Weird and Wonderful Girl of the Games. We check out this game. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't got its name on the uh, thing here, but this is Arkanoid. Classic arcade game, and in fact you have the classic version of Arkanoid here. Let me just uh, put this in. This is the original version, but this is an updated game, so essentially it's got the old and the new together. A bit like the Pac-Man, the modern Pac-Man, as you can see, uh, just got a little arc in. That's all it is, it's all a ball bouncing game, very simple. Right, let me just quit that one, because we're going to go and play the newer version. And of course this isn't going to catch very much, it's going to be on a fanatical deal actually. Um, I'm not sure what Neo is. Oh, defeat Doe, here we are, we play this one. So Doe is the enemy in Arkanoids, the story. Uh, a bit of a straight, here we go, look, there's a story, we'll skip that. And this is one of those games where I'm not allowed to record it when it's running full screen as such. It's got to be borderless or whatever. Oh, that was quick. That was a quick exit. <laughs> so, of course, there's a lot of... If you've never played Arkanoid before, it's a bat and ball game. But it is the definitive bat and ball game from the 80s. Uh, where they started putting power-ups in. Before this, it was more like just Breakout or Pong. But, of course, this is... Uh, Pong never really had, or Brick Breaker, I think was the name of one of them. But this is the first one to start doing like all special little. And I'm using controller here, but actually you can just jump straight and use mouse. And if you notice, I can move my bat at the bottom a lot quicker. So essentially, yeah, that's all you're doing. You're just unblocking on breaking bricks. And that was a catch. That was a seat. And here we go. Essentially, very simple idea, very addictive game. The great thing about this is, um, oh, that was a catch, wasn't it? That was, that was, that was skills there, mate, for an oldie like me. Uh, and of course, this is just the power up. Wow, oh, no, I'm not so good anymore. Right. Okay, I'm um, make this one video really quick. Actually, we're still going to go straight over to um, Aniba. So let me just. Grab my Aniba. No, it wasn't Aniba, was it? Sorry, we're not going to Aniba for the first time for ages. We're going over to Fanatical. I do apologise. It's not for Aniba today, it's Fanatical. And of course, the link will take you straight to where I'm going here. So I'm scrolling down and we're going to this triple pack. Build your own triple pack. The one under the arrow here. Build your own triple pack holiday edition. Okay, so we go in here. Uh, let me just get rid of those ones. And you have to choose free games, unfortunately. So it'll be free quid you've got to spend. Don't forget, Fanatical have got a free game as well at the minute. If you spend a fiver, um, so you buy maybe buy two of these packs. I don't know, with different ones. But there's Arkanoid, so it's going to cost you a pound. Then now, if I was to buy other games, Morbid was one I reviewed last week. Fabulous game. Um, but I think I got it a lot cheaper somewhere else. But if you wanted to make it as part of your pack... It'd be well worth it. Now, a couple of these have sold out, so they may get more keys in. But you've got Morbid, Arkanoid, Breath's Edge, West of Worlds. Well, West of Dead, sorry. Those are, in particular, good games. Now, I already had West of Dead. I bought Breath's Edge, even though I owned it on Epic. I wanted that for the Steam um, achievements. That will appear sooner or later in the next few weeks, or maybe in the next couple of days, actually. Um... I bought this one. Don't laugh. I bought this Frog Island one because it looked fun. It looked chilled. I do like stuff like that. So yeah, there's plenty here to have a look at. I don't know what this Witch's game is like. Let's have a quick just... Um, not sure what that's about. Bit of an adventure game. Um, here we go. Truly unique story. Single player character, yeah, action adventure game, sol puzzle solving. So that could be quite interesting. I've got this one, haven't played it yet. Turnip Boy. I think it's a, um, I think it's, oh, this is a very much like a Zelda clone as well. Let me get rid of that. Oh, and you got to grow stuff. Okay, so it's a bit like a farming game. 
can't remember the name of the game that everyone plays it's like that but okay so anyway there's a there's a you're bound to be able to choose three games out of this deal right let's get back to arkanoid um we don't want to quit no um keep it oh i switched over then the mouse didn't i there we go i quite like the tunes as well in this it's got some uh cool tunes oh yeah we're getting a bit raviantly Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. See if I can just finish this level off. Got the catch again. Oh, oh, I missed it. Mouse sensitivity is probably a little bit on the high side. Right, okay, we're out of that. We didn't, didn't get past the first level. Escape out of that. Now, there are plenty of other missions on here. You've got leaderboards. There's the retro. We had a quick look at that. There's Eternal Battle. Be the last survivor. You can play online with 25 players. Now, the good thing is, you're probably not going to find many players online, so it fills the other ones with AI. So that's fine. You can play that versus. You can play with your friends. Sit down, couch, co-op job. So yeah, they've got three good make good modes there then. You've got your Neo, your Versus, Couch Co-op. You've got your Eternal Battle. Four good modes and Retro. I'm going back to Metro. This is what I prefer. This is my this is my stim. This is. I like this. The only thing I wish you could have done is change this um, to a bigger screen. I'm not sure why they didn't um, allow that in it. And ironically, that is exactly how the arcade machine was. If you look at that, there's a there's a like a paddle twist paddle in the middle of it, and that's what the a proper arcade machine for Arkanoid had. It was a um, it was an analog controller, which is very unusual for um, arcade games at the time. Oh, that's good. That's an escape out of there. The first level, plenty of bees. We like bees. These get so hard. Like this one. This one's not too bad if you get the laser. You can pop it up there and get a laser. That's the extender. Oh, our laser we want. Oh. Come on, let's get it up there. Oh. That's about it. I always remember my mate that lives just up the road here. I remember him actually completing this in the arcade. And I was just like so in awe. I didn't even think he was into video games that much. But he, for some reason he was an absolute beast at this one game. And I think that I can't remember if it's 50 levels or 100 levels. And the reason I remember is because when he, I was on his fire button. So whenever he picked up the laser, it was my job to press the fire button. So in a way, I suppose we both completed the game. There we go. Nothing like the laser. The laser's one of the top weapons. This is a pain in the ass one. Oh, look at... Oh, I really wanted that laser. Tried to get it. There's some of the, the yellowy bricks. They're indestructible, by the way. And I know you might look at this and think, oh, look at this crappy graphics. But these are absolutely amazing graphics for the day. Like, especially with the shading and the shadowing. It was, like, probably one of the first games I know that had, like, proper shadowing. Although, technically, it's just trickery. It's just arcade trickery, the shadowing, but... It just gave things like a 3D effect. Oh, missed it. Well, I think I've shown you quite enough. <laughs> so that is... Arkanoid, which you can pick up for a pound, but it's part of a deal. We've got to get basically three games for a pound each. Um, 
So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. I love this game. I'm so happy now. I've got this and I've got the newer Pac-Man as well. And uh, they're well done. That's what I'm saying about this. It's using the original code there from the arcade. A bit like the new Pac-Man game has the old Pac-Man with the original code. And that's great. I love to see that. So you get in the original arcade games and you get in the newer, updated, better playability ones. Great stuff. Love it. Really well done, whoever made this game. Excellent uh, job. All right, this has been Glenn, Cheapskate Gaming, and we'll see you in the next one. So, right, guys. Cheapskate Gaming, yeah, you know the name. They got the games that won't break the bank. So, come on over and join the crew. They'll show you, they'll show you how to game and save money, too. Cheapskate Gaming, yeah, you know the name. They got the games that won't break the bank. So,